Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And this is getting very interesting. And what for some might still be a mystery because it's going to be hard to. It's going to be really hard to show proof of this for anyone to to be able to justify. But the uh, the square miles of coverage have been updated under FirstNet and and that network 100% all of it comes from um from AT&T now you know band 14 all of that is being deployed so it's it's interesting because AT&T is still working with AST for the for the satellite partnership in areas that they don't cover or nobody natively covers. And yet they claim here that they cover two plus, actually plus 2.97 million square miles. I mean, they're approaching 3 million square miles. The U.S. is about, last time I checked, was like 3.7 3 million square miles. Uh, or 3.5 or 3.7, one of the two. So there's about a half a million, roughly, square miles that nobody covers. But with FirstNet, they're closing in on 3 million. Are they going to go above 3 million? Who knows? We might see that at the at one of the updates that, hey, we now cover 3.1 million or 3.2. It's all funded. A lot of this is funded and, and reimbursements from the government. So AT&T is going to be like, why not? But at the same time, their operations cost is likely through the roof. I mean, it's crazy how big this network is if this is to be believed and how many sites are like in the literally the middle of nowhere where nobody lives just to have coverage for first responders just in case somebody gets injured in in that in that specific area so this is a massively large network larger than anyone else i mean verizon claims i think the last time i saw like 2.68 or 2.7 so this is approaching you know, 300,000 square miles larger than even Verizon, if we go by the numbers natively. That's that's impressive, man. That's a huge investment that none of the other carriers might even want to get close to because they didn't get, one, they're not getting reimbursed, and two, who, who's going to want to take on that type of operations? The OPEX having to build those sites out there and lease and all that, it's got to be expensive, when there's no really no return on investment. There is no FWA to sell in, in, in some of these parts that at and is going to. So it's just, it's good to see. I'll, I'll, I'll give them credit. It's good to see. I, I hope they continue this, uh, this journey. But man, it's going to be hard to really to really show proof of this and i know there's going to be a lot of debates saying oh at t doesn't work here it doesn't work there and, and 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 i see it all the time but it's uh it's good to see that they're that they're trying this and and they have the asset to do it they have first net they got the spectrum it's low band they're getting reimbursed so they're probably thinking to themselves why not but I mean, you see, it, you see it to the right here, 250,000 square miles more than any other commercial network. That's, that's where they're headed. So we'll see what, this, uh, what these updates show in the future. Um, AT&T is expanding the network quite large. And I don't think any other network is going to get even remotely close to this. Uh, T-Mobile is is more like probably about 400,000 square miles behind this and Verizon 250,000 square miles. So AT&T will have a massive lead once it comes to raw native coverage. So make sure you guys stay tuned for more. Like, share, subscribe, follow my social media outlets. This is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.